chat box out there. Today in this video, I'm just going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my Thursday and Friday of this week. On my Thursday, I got up nice and early for the day ahead. I had a nice fresh shower and a bottle of cereal, listened to a bit of music, and I watched some TikToks. I did a new TikTok and went onto my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Tried to make some Facebook and Twitter and Instagram posts, did some stuff on there. And I was then just doing some colouring in and working on this chapter to my book and doing some drawing. And my dad, older brother and sister and younger brother worked, younger sister's up at uni. My mum was asleep and my grandparents were watching a bit of TV. My mum got up just as I was getting ready to go off to the mud to meet my mates. My grandparents dropped me in and I met my mate from college and we got on so well. I always have such great banter and... It was just so great to see her and I had a look around the shop and she kindly bought me a Burger King. We had Burger King and I hadn't had it for a long time and so I said I'd pay her back and she was like, no, you don't have to. And yeah, it was a really good day, lovely weather. The weather's just been so lovely at the moment and I went and got some bits and bobs. Love that word. And I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from the mouth. First thing I'm going to show you is this mug here that I got from Typo and it says if you can read this then you are up in my personal space. I love that and yeah I am a mug for mugs as my friend said and yeah I just love it it's so funny and I just love how quirky it is and then you know how much I love my stationery and my novelty pens and pencils and anything stationery. I got two Large pens. I think I might already have this one already, but waving the LGBT flag. Hi, I'm proud, and yeah, I just love it. And um, I mean, who doesn't love a good rainbow? So yeah, I got this one, and then from an I got that from Typo, along with this notebook here. This nice white notebook. Love it. And then I got myself this pen as well. I'm not sure why I got this from. What, I can't remember the name of the shop, but it's got like a flapper girl on, and I just absolutely love Trenty's glam flapper girl with the feathers, the pearls, the rude cheeks, the wet lips, the feathers, the lot. I love it. And then I went to the card factory and got myself this little cute envelope sticky note set, and it says remember to, and then inside. It says that it, they come out, and that one says to do, and then these ones say, oh, these are going to fall out as well. These ones say, just say no on, and yeah, it's annoying that they fall out, because I didn't realise, so I opened it up the first time, because they went flying everywhere, so that was a bit annoying, but yeah, it's been a really good time going to the mall. I haven't been to the mall for a long time. And then I got this from Water Spoons? Water... I can't remember the bookstore. I always get confused with Water Spoons. The bookshop in the mall, which name I cannot remember. I got Carrie Hick Fletcher's new book and it's called Into the Spotlight. And I have a signed copy. I'm so excited to read this and I love the front cover it's got pebbles from the beach that they put around the from what she said about in the book that it's in the theatre that are all over the wall and I just love how even just talking about it I can like envision it in my mind and her writing is just so wonderful she's one of my writing inspirations her, Jackie Wilson, J.K. Rowling, and Lemony Snippet. I love the series of Fox Friends books. And yeah, I would just love to be able to get my books out into the world like they have and just have books out. That would be a dream. And yeah, I just finally got it. I got in there and I was like looking around, couldn't find it. So I went to the desk and was like, Do you have the book in? And they got the book, but it wasn't the signed one. So she went back and Looked and she was like, you're lucky because this is the only signed one that they could find in the store. So yeah, I was really happy that I managed to get that. 
and then the last thing that I got, I went to this shop, this clothes shop, and I picked it out, but you're not allowed to try it on, so it was just a little bit of a guess. I am normally a large, but a medium, I can fit because I've lost a little bit of weight, which I've been happy about. And I tried it on in the bathroom, I think you can see it. It's just black and like a brown, like yellowy brown colour. And yeah, I really like it. It's a long sleeve jumper, like that. Here I am, and yeah, it's it's just such a nice jumper. It's nice and cozy, and it's not too tight, not too snug on me. And yeah, I was very pleased with how I picked it. I don't even think there were, well, there probably were largest, but they didn't have any like they normally have like an M or L on the on the ticket, but they didn't have like the price tag but he didn't have any of that so I just had to kind of go in blind but it looks nice on me and with all the touch rugby and the bike riding and the walk and running up and down serving food at work the way is dropping off so I'm sure I'll soon be back into a medium which you need to not pick out and yeah so as the lighting is a bit bad I just got a light on to try and brighten it up a bit and of course I've got the window open a bit to let a bit of fresher in and the sunlight in so that might make it a little bit hard to see but hopefully you can see my beautiful face and yeah if not that's good because it make it so you don't have to see this ugly mug and yeah I have had just such a great week so far it's just been really good got a few work shifts and met a few new colleagues which has been nice and I'm just loving the sunshine and I then got myself a Krispy Kreme donut from there and a drink and then we went and just sat and had a nice chit chat and we just talked about anything and everything and uh, we were both chat for and we were both very chatty and then it was time for us to part ways I said goodbye to her and she went off to get the bus back home and I got picked up by my dad and I got out just as my dad pulled up and he was playing Carmen, one of my favourite songs, Broken Hearted. And I just love that song. So of course we had the windows down, music blasting, and I was just in such a good mood. Then we went off to Tesco's and my dad had to get the food shop for my grandma and it took quite a while. And I got myself a meal dough. I had some chicken soup and bacon wrap and a banana yasu and some crisps. And then I went and had that and waited by the car and then my dad finally came out and we got back. I then watched the Aussie Six, wrote a bit of my journal, posted some photos of the day onto my social medias and me and my mate had got a photo while at the mall, so I posted that up and then I was just listening to his music, doing a bit of drawing and then my old brother got back from being at work and he's got a new Alexa Amazon thing in my bob machine which you can like ask questions and it'll or it'll play music and stuff. Not technical in the slightest, so he's been playing with that, loving that new gizmo that he's got. And my grandparents were just watching a bit of cricket and my mum and dad were just sat out in the garden enjoying the sunshine and dad was sorting out the garden and cutting a bit of the grass and I was throwing the tennis ball for my dog Harv and Purdy was all snuggly and I did a TikTok with her early on and it was very hard to do. Don't work with kids or animals they say. But she was she was good and I just held her and did the TikTok and then she was a bit wriggly but after she like snuggled in and started purring really loudly so I was just like honestly at, just after filming and she finally like starts being less crazy. But yeah, it was good. And she wasn't like in any like pain or anything. I was just I was joking and stuff, and she was fine. And if she didn't want to do it, I would have put it down and just left it. But yeah, I got I got the TikTok done, and it's one of my favourite TikToks. And she's just so cute. And I then was just watching a bit of Dot Two. Got on back into watching Dot Two on BBC Player from my like, tenth Doctor onwards. The Tenth Doctor is definitely my favourite Doctor. David Tennant is just so good as the Doctor. And then I got myself ready for Touch Rugby. My older sister came and we went off to Touch Rugby. It was really good. I didn't score any tries, but it's not all about scoring the tries. 
is about defending as well. I did some really good ones and dodges and passes. Getting really good at like stopping and going now. Sometimes it's quite hard to stop when you get the momentum going and you get some that are like, you need to go back, you need to go back. I was like, I am, I'm just trying to stop myself. And I did fall over a few times, but I'm so clumsy, it was with the family. And yeah, it was a really good evening. We had a load of people turn up. So we had two games going and that's the first time we've done that in a while. So it was really good. And then we got a photo at the end in the family bubbles, of course. And we're very good at social distancing, making sure that we've hand sanitised and all that kind of thing. There's been spikes and people are freaking out, but we just got to stay calm, carry on doing what we're doing, wearing our masks, washing our hands, and just trying not to worry because the spikes, we always knew it was going to happen because they're easing it and with primary schools and unis and stuff now going back, it was bound to happen. But as long as we just follow the rules and don't have massive gatherings and massive turn ups of people on the beach, then it should be fine. And I then got back, had a cheese and potato pie for tea, watched the Aussie and UK soap, wrote my journal, did a bit of drawing and watched this musical film called Yesterday and it is so good. I then listened to a bit of music and the Yesterday musical movie was all about the Beatles. So listen to a bit of the Beatles, love a bit of the Beatles, and a bit of Kylie, Dido, Lady Gaga, and some other things in the band. Then I went off to bed, and then today it is Friday. I'm working this evening, I'm doing 6 till 11.30, I think, and I got my uniform ready for that. My older brother, sister, and dad, and younger brother were at work. The younger sister is at the uni flat. My mum's stomach is playing up again because she has injections for her diabetes to sort her blood levels out and the injection but played up a bit and caused her to have a bit of pain in her stomach so she stopped that now but it's going to take a, a while to like stop so she gets a bit of pain sometimes but she's on some new stuff that's working a lot better and my mum and grandma and our family friend who's like a second mum to me have gone out for lunch, ladies at luncheon and my younger brother got back for his lunch break at work. Dad got back from work and went off to bed. And me and my grandpa were just watching this crime drama show. And then I made myself some sandwiches and a cup of tea and did a bit of drawing. And I'm going to be watching the Aussie soaps in a minute. And then probably going to go have a little walk, get back, have a cup of tea and have some biscuits and start reading the new book from K. Lake Fletcher. I cannot wait to start reading this and also going to be getting back into writing a bit more. I've had a bit of a writing break at the moment because you know when you write lots and lots and lots and then you just kind of like lose like the writing like major I kind of just stop and kind of hit a bit of a wall in the writing area and I I'm now going to be trying to do that a bit more. I've working on a little story thing that's going well. I'm just writing bits here and there when I like get a good idea. And I had a Nutella bar and they are so good. And a cup of tea and just listened to a bit of music and did some drawing and a bit of karaoke. Love a good sing song me. And I I hope you guys have all had a lovely week so far all having a lovely Friday and have a lovely end to your week and a lovely weekend ahead and I shall see you guys soon in new vlog very soon. Bye!